So I wanna talk for a second about internal rate of return versus average annual rate of return. And the reason is we broadcast the internal rate of return a lot for our syndication projects. And oftentimes that number is actually lower than the average annual rate of return. So if you gave me $100,000 and in five years I gave you back $200,000, I have doubled your money over that five year period. I have given you a 100% return over five years. So if you divide that 100% return by five, you'll find that I gave you a 20% average annual rate of return. Now, that same return, if calculated for an internal rate of return, would be around 15%. And the reason being is that internal rate of return takes into account the time value of money and it discounts future cash flows. So often we, as syndicators and, and you know, as people that, that invest your money in finance a lot, we talk about the IRR and say, you've got a 15% IRR and people compare that to, oh, I can get 20% over here. Well, over here, they might be talking about the average annual rate of return. So just remember, the internal rate of return is discounted for future cash flows, so it usually shows up lower than the average annual rate of return, oftentimes when it's the same exact return.